the topic that I will I will focus is on topic four only. Okay. Are you listening or not? Topic four only. Can I do the true and false, the uh, multiple answer question like we did uh, during tutorial 10? Okay, so once you submit, you've got your uh, marks already. Will that be okay? Yes, doctor. Uh, Boleh? Boleh. Okay. Boleh. How many questions do you want? How many questions do you want? 30 questions. Ah, get Guan Yu, Guan Yu, buat buat lawak betang betang. Guan Yu, you want one question ah? Paling kurang lima ah. Ah, lima. Guan Yu, you want one question ah? Mana Guan Yu? Guan Yu, you. Lei Guan Yu, you want one question only, is it? Guan Yu tak nak cakap ni. Ah. Nak baca hari tu. Syira nak 30. Syira nak 30 kawan-kawan. Uh, tak apa ke? Boleh. Tak ada hal. Uh. Tujuh. Ha? Uh? Setujuh. Pak nak 30 soalan. Tujuh, ya. Yeah. Ah, uh. Pak Iqman nak tujuh? Setujuh, 30. Oh, setujuh. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Tak dengar. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Minta maaf. Ya Allah. Petang-petang ni jadi pekak lah pula. Ya Allah. Okay, okay. 30 question settle. Ah, True and false as well as multiple answer. So once you submit, you have your uh, apa? Um, marks. You have your marks already. Ah, yes, yes. You have your marks. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, right. Itu first announcement. Okay. Second announcement, okay, is in regards of your exam. It's in regards of your exam, okay. Uh, have your pen and, and, and paper ready. Dah, ready dah semua? Ready tak? Jom, jom, jom. Pen and paper ready, please. Tak nak ulang banyak-banyak. Uh. Okay, ready. All right, ready. Ready? Okay. Okay, for the exam, okay, uh, you have for this particular subject, we have three course learning outcome. We have three course learning outcome. So, for the course learning outcome one, okay, our focus is towards topic two and three. For course learning outcome one, the focus is on topic Two and three. Okay, dapat? Dapat. Alright. For course learning outcome two, our focus is on topic six and eight. Six and eight. Six and eight. Yes, please. Note that. Okay. For course learning outcome three, the focus is on topic 11 and 12. 11 and 12. Yes, please. So all together for the final exam, there are six topics. Okay. And you will have satu soalan wajib. Then part two, you can choose. Either question one or question two. So all together, you only answer two questions. Two questions only. Okay. Uh, so the question will be around this particular topic. Okay, six topic. Okay, dapat? Siapa yang tak dapat tadi? Dapat ke tak dapat? Uh, dapat, dapat. dapat. Dapat dah? Semua okey ya? So ada six saja. Okay, walaupun kita belajar banyak. So, so some we have actually uh, done it in our test. Okay, so we've got two tests. So we have covered on the test. Some we do it in our assignment. And some will focus towards the final examination. Alright? Okay ya? Nanti saya tak bagi lagi tau. Nanti kalau kalau terlupa nanti tanya kawan-kawan. Alright? 
So for no, next week, only focus on topic four. Okay, only focus on topic four. Okay, uh, multiple answer as well as true and false. All right. Okay, any questions so far? Any questions so far? <laughs> Senyap je? No, no question. Oh, oh ada lah. Okay. okay. Uh, apa? Apa? Assignment tu hantar kat mana? Assignment tu hantar dekat Google Classroom. Ada folder dia. Oh, soalan man. exam tu ada soalan anak-anak kan? Mm -mm. Soalan exam ada soalan anak-anak. Wait ah, saya pun dah lupa. Dah lama sangat. Sekarang salah pula bagi. Kejap ni, kejap, kejap, kejap. Let me see, let me see, where is the question? <laughs> That's no, no, kan? Terlupa. Haji tak ingat langsung. Betul, share screen lah. <laughs> hey, mana boleh? Eh, boleh, boleh share screen. Tapi you all tak boleh sit for this, this exam. <laughs> Kita jumpa semasa ke depan, macam mana? Ha, boleh. Boleh, tak ada hal. Alright. Uh, ini apa, siapa punya? Uh, this is not mine. Kejap, 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 kejap. Nanti kau silap bagi tahu pula kau. Kejap, kejap, kejap. Oh, okay. This one. Sorry. Salah file pula. Okay. Soalan satu. Ada A, B, C. Okay. Soalan dua. A, B, C juga. Soalan satu. Soalan satu lima puluh markah ni soalan wajib. Soalan dua pun sama juga lima puluh markah. Okey soalan dua ABC juga. Soalan tiga. Oh soalan tiga sikit lah AB saja. Okey. Yang wajib tu ABC. Yang part B tu soalan dua ABC. Soalan tiga AB saja. AB saja. Tapi bukan open book ke? Boleh tengok buku ke? Sempat tak tengok buku dua jam? Sempat. Sempat kan? Ha, you all pandai-pandai lah nak hidup kan? Ha, semua tu ada dalam ni. Dalam um, tu soalan 30 markah tak? Satu soalan 50 markah. Hmm. Itu markah tu Dr. Has yang bagi. Saya kata banyak sangat. 50 markah. Eh dia kata 50 markah. Makcik pun terus diam. Okey lah. Apa dia? Itu UM punya style. Ah oh, style. <laughs> <laughs> tak apa. Kita follow. I follow kan. Okey. Right. Clear ah? Ha? Clear ah. Ha? Jadi soalan satu tadi soalan wajib ada ABC. Ada tiga anak. Uh, part dua. Soalan dua ada tiga anak juga. Okey. Uh, ABC. Uh, uh, question tu A, B saja, dua saja. Okay. Soalan susah tak susah. Semua ada dalam nota, semua kita dah go through and what not. Okay. Tak, tak ada masalah. Okay. Um, hmm, kalau kalau dekat Dewan bolehlah bantu-bantu kan. Tapi kalau tak dekat Dewan tak tahulah macam mana nak bantu kan. Tapi insyaAllah it should be okay. Okay. You all are, we, be okay. are we using the proctoring to uh you are do uh, you are using the same the same methods like any other exam uh dr has will actually conduct the exam betul tak kan dr has ha uh. oh, dia kata dia conduct saya tak info ah uh, okey so kan? nanti kita tahu lah ah uh, kan you all you all you, macam biasa lah kot it's, it's not like last semester last semester how do you go about it no, how do you I... go about it because recently they uh, introduced this new proctoring tool to uh, so basically our camera will be on and then we can't access any other sites so I'm not sure if we are using it so. oh okay 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 yeah. tak camera on dekat you kan so you kena adjust lah nota kat belah mana ni kat belah mana tak boleh ke 
bukan orang nampak pun kan dekat dalam dekat ni jahat kan pada hari kod ni uh, tak ada kalau kalau kami memang is open book we know already is open book so uh, how you gonna go about it kena pandai-pandai lah cuma kalau kami di UITM if we are in the U, in UITM anything that they get from any other materials the student has to actually uh, uh, do the, the the quotation sama macam macam biasa sourcing kita referencing kita so although it's a final exam if they get it from any other source ke, they just have to say abc 2010 stated that whatever so at the end of the essay they will put there what where is their referencing Ah, kalau dekat UITM is the practice along that line lah. So, I mean, you can use other people because you are at home. We cannot control you, kan? Ah, tapi you you need to quote lah whatever the source of your information is from where. Ah, we we recognize that. Ah, we recognize that. So you need to follow yours, okay? Ah, jangan buat salah. Sikit je ni, twenty ah ah buat lah, not twenty, forty marks is ni. Uh, 40 marks only. You have scored your, your test one. Uh, I'm sure that you will score your test two. Okay. If you disagree, you want more tests, you let me know. Okay, you let me know. I, I can just uh, design one, one, one apa, set of questions for you. Doesn't really matter. You 100%. Okay, fine. We design one question for you. For you to get 100%. Doesn't really matter. Because that's how you, you, you can score your continuous assessment. All right. Okay, so any more questions on the test and the exam? Are we clear? Test and exam. Crystal. All right, okay. So now we move on. This particular topic is very straightforward. It's very straightforward. And in fact, I'm worried that it's going to be overlapping with your other subjects, okay? Hopefully it's not, okay? We try and do our best. Uh, on uh, um, uh, try to 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 collaborate whatever that we have done previously to this particular topic. Okay, I'll just share the screen. Wait, ah, eh, tidak, tidak, tidak. Ensure that I have actually uh, closed the exam file. <laughs> nanti terlupa nanti nyanyi aja kawan kawan. Aduh, yeah. right? All right, uh, we are in topic 12. Okay, topic 12. Okay, it's about development as well as the uh, facing strategies. Okay, uh, when you are talking about development, eh, I'm sure that you are familiar with this. Okay, uh, development, it can consist either you're talking about the new building, your redevelopment or refurbishment, meaning that you keep the existing buildings. So this is some of the scenarios, okay, in regards of the development, okay. So, uh, so, so this is just uh, one basic uh, introduction of what uh, development is all about, okay, what development is all about. Okay, then when you are looking at real estate development and real estate appraisal or financial appraisal, okay, your development valuation basically very very much differs from your other uh, areas of valuation okay why because when you are talking about development appraisal and whatnot okay the properties that you are valued do not yet exist okay be it the mixed development be it the retail be it whatever Okay, it's not yet. It's not on the land yet. It's not being developed. Okay, so that's why when you're talking about development valuation, development appraisal, property development is so much different. Okay, it's so much different. So basically, when you are looking at development per se, what you're focusing is in regards of the needs for you to appraise the financial viability. Uh, this is the keywords here. Financial viability of the project. Okay, financial viability of the project. And, and when you are looking at other uh, government projects, big, big project, for example, 
like when you are talking about airports, when you are talking about uh, uh, building uh, all the necessary infrastructure, some of it you are looking at the economic uh, viability as well of that particular project, depending on the project. Okay, so the keywords here is on the financial viability okay, in regards of development. Again, when you are looking at development per se, we know that any development, any development, be it big or be it small, the development is a very risky business, very risky business. So therefore, you can read the rest of the notes, okay? I just want to focus what is important here. So therefore, when you are looking at the property development, it's always, always, okay, uh, closely related with the risk. Okay, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. When you are looking at risk and property development, there are few terminologies that is important. Okay, there are few terminologies that is important. One is you need to be able to define what is risk. What is risk? Okay, you've got risk, you've got certainty, you've got uncertainty. You see, this, these three keywords is very important in regards of property development. So risk is the probability of something can happen. So what is that supposed to mean? Because risk can be calculated using your statistical tools. Risk can be calculated. Okay, risk can be calculated. Okay, then you're talking about uncertainty. Uncertainty is something where your outcome is unknown. You don't know the outcome. Is it going to rain uh, today? No, no, 50-50. Why? Because we cannot control it. It's act of God. Okay, you can estimate, estimate in a broad range. Okay, same goes with certainty. Outcome, you know. Okay, can you estimate? Yes, within a narrow range. You see, these three keywords is very important. You need to understand in your property development. Okay, your risk, probability that something can happen, can be calculated. Yes, can be eliminated. Yes. Okay, and then you are talking about certainty, your outcome is known, then uncertainty, outcome is unknown. So now, when you are talking about the risk of the development, okay, the total of all, we call it total risk, the total risk. So what is total risk? Your total risk is the systematic risk plus your unsystematic risk or specific risk. I'm sure that you have covered this in your portfolio management. Okay, you have learned portfolio management, right? Dah belajar ke belum belajar? Portfolio management, anybody, somebody, kawan-kawan? Macam belum. Oh, <laughs> sudah, sudah. Investment ah, analysis. Sudah. Ah, yes. Ah, ada kan? Ah, sudah, sudah. Bila? A few semesters back? Second, um, second year first sem or first First year, second sense. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, your portfolio management. Okay, portfolio management. Right. So this is all about your systematic risk and unsystematic risk. Okay. So what happened here, if you have understand it all, that will be easier on my part. Okay. Systematic risk is something that you cannot control. It's beyond your control. So some of the example is the market risk, okay, the ups and downs, the business cycle, the economic cycles, all these are the risks that you cannot control. Inflation, purchasing power risk, your interest rate risk, again, these are the things that you cannot control. Uh, the other, uh, on the other hand, you've got your unsystematic risk and specific risk. So specific risk or unsystematic risk is the thing that you'll be able to control. Okay, you control because it's within your particular organization, within your particular firm. Okay, you are talking about business risk. Okay, uh, product risk, competition, whatever, the management team, these are all business risk. Can you control? Can the company control? Yes. Okay, financial risk within your organization. Can you control? Yes. No issue, can be controlled. Liquidity risk. 
okay, is within the company. Okay, can it be controlled? Yes, it's your own. Okay, your cash flow in out cash flow. Okay, you'll be able to control unless you misuse the money, misuse the the the, the mismanagement and whatnot. Then you won't be able to control the liquidity. Okay, right. So other than that, you'll be able to do that. Okay, other specific risks that actually attach to the project, attach to the uh, company, yes, you'll be able to control. So these two things is very important when you are looking at any development or any uh, investment. Okay, right. Right. Before we move on to this, I want to show you another slide. Um, Have you come across this slide or not? Anybody? A simple model of property market. No. Uh, never, never seen it before. Um, maybe similar diagram. Consider. Similar diagram. This is from literature. Eh? Literature. It looks like a kidney bean. Okay. Not sure whether you have covered it or not. Okay. But uh, this is in the uh, literature. Okay. So what happened is that we make good this particular model. So basically, when you are looking at the property market, your property market outside. Okay. Property market outside is actually consists of these three different market. Okay, the property market outside consists of your user market, your investment market, and your development market. So that is why when you learned about your development appraisal, about this market uh, research, development is one of the elements that need to be covered because it is one of the branch of your property market yes this one we have seen before oh this one you have seen before exactly like this one yes exactly exactly yeah uh, subject for though Do dr rosli benya oh dr rosli benya uh, all right okay so now you understand okay that's how important development is all about okay kalau you dah faham okay uh, because this is how uh, you need to understand your your property market okay uh, right okay now we go back okay right so therefore when you are looking at your uh, property development you need to understand why our property development is very important here okay and basically, this particular topic will cover on the phases of your real estate development. In a good uh, or in a simplest way, in a simplest way, your development will actually uh, subdivide into three different phases. Okay, three different phases. Okay, your pre-development phases, your construction, as well as your project completion. And you have three different phases. So each of the phases will have its own activities. Okay, each of these uh, phases will have its own activities. Okay, as you see from the diagram. This one you have learned in your maybe your subject on property development, other that property development, ke, even in development appraisal, ke, you have learned this, right? No? Kan, dah belajar. Okay, lagi senang. Okay, make myself easy. Okay, so your pre-development, what happened here is that the bulk of your uh, work, okay, or this uh, can be said, kalau kat sini kita kata, it is the longest stages of your real estate development process. Why? Because it is consists of uh, your ideas, it consists of the planning, it consists of your uh, apa, uh, management team, your design team, all these come first, your pre-development. 
That's why it says here is one of the longest stages of your real estate development. So what consists in your uh, uh, pre-development stages? You have your market analysis, feasibility. You're talking about looking at the potential site, environmental assessment, survey, concept plan, etc., etc. Until you have actually identified even your branding and marketing. So that is why your pre-development is your longer stages. In fact, when you are looking at the planning, eh, kawan -kawan, eh, you submit the planning, the planning will be rejected. Okay, uh, resubmit your planning, rejected again. It will be done a few times okay, until you get the uh, actual uh, uh, or, or the, the, the approval from the planning department. Okay, it will to fro, to fro, to fro. Uh, itu tak masuk yang lain-lain lagi. All the concept, you know, agree, disagree. Okay, investors agree, disagree. Okay, uh, finding the right uh, people to actually uh, do the construction. Uh, who are the designer and stuff like that. So that is the longest, the longest stages or the longest uh, uh, process in your, uh, the whole of your development. Um, right. Okay, uh, any questions so far? So far so good. Tapi dia memang lama tak eh? Apa dia? Dia memang lama. Of course, process. of course. The process, the longest. Uh, mm -hmm. The longest. Because even when you are talking about the uh, planning, planning department approval eh, is going to take what? Uh, months to, to more than a year. Months to more than a year. Depends. Uh, um, sometimes uh, they want you to fulfill certain things, they want you to add in certain things. So one, they ask you to add in, meaning that you have got to redo your uh, plan. Okay, uh, so that is why it will take time. Okay, uh, dealing with the government agencies, uh, all those bureaucracy and whatnot. Okay, paham, paham je lah kan? Okay, right. So next one, they are talking about the construction. Okay, construction will involve your construction and improvement. Okay, construction and improvement. Um, maybe this one is not to say the longest, but still, okay, hoping that it will be on schedule, that it will you will get it done uh, according to the to the time frame. Okay, because the, uh, if you read the book by Fraser, I can go on. Uh, the most critical uh, uh, elements that will influence the developer's profit is actually the duration, the timing. So construction is one of the critical timing. Okay, so that is why you will be able to see some of the development outside in in real life. Okay, sometimes they 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 actually um, do their development like 24 hours a day, 24 hours, just to ensure that uh, they are not behind time. Okay, they are not behind time. They want to ensure that things will get it done accordingly. Okay, so that's how critical timing is the critical part. That will actually influence your profit. Okay, profit. Okay, construction. What's involved here? It's not just about the construction. Your marketing has started already. Okay, once everything is in place, your marketing will have to start. Um, start meaning that you have identified who are the people that should be in that particular building. Okay, you have uh, you have got to see uh, people. You have got to meet people and do the marketing because the what happen eh, kawan -kawan, eh? When you are talking about uh, tenants and whatnot, they cannot simply uh, say that uh, they want to end the tenancy within 24 hours. Cannot. So therefore, once the project is in place, you have got to shop for your tenants already. You have got to identify your tenants already. So therefore, gradually, they will actually say that, oh, it's good idea. So maybe we can end up our lease here and go to your uh, new uh, building, maybe. 
okay or maybe we should open another one so it's up to the tenant so therefore once the build construction started you have start to identify tenants especially for special buildings eh, kawan -kawan, eh? some of them they have the criteria of who they want uh, in their building okay they have the criteria who they want it cannot be any tom jack or, or harry okay they want somebody that have um certain uh, what requirements for example so therefore marketing has already started okay we are talking about pre-sale leasing you're talking about controlling quality accounting oh etc etc so all these need to be done in these particular stages okay uh, you tak boleh kata marketing tunggu bangunan sudah tunggu bangunan sudah it end up you have no tenants eh? you end up you have more tenants eh? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Then the last one is the post development. Post development. So what happened during this particular post development? Uh, there are certain arrangement that you uh, probably have to come to, uh, or have close deal. Okay. Some they want to sell it. Uh, some they might have people that interested or you have actually make a MOU ke apa ke, you know, to, to, towards the building. So there are many, many things here. Okay. Of course, the best, best, uh, uh, or the best choice is for you to sell the property. Once you sell, you already get your quick profit, you know, then you can uh, start off with another project. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's, that's the best, but somehow or other, um, some, investors they have other ideas as well the yeah, other ideas so what's involved in the final stage your marketing is still ongoing okay you find your buyer if if you're not selling off then you don't need to find buyers okay uh you're talking about property management you're talking about uh, all this documentation title closing of all sales etc etc so all this will be done at the final stage Okay, at the final stage. So that is on the facing of your um, development. Okay, the other one, the other one is the facing of your project. It's the facing of your project. So meaning that if you have the piece of land, uh, piece of land let's say your land is huge. Okay, 1,000 uh, acres of land. So maybe you don't want to develop 1,000 acres um, in one shot, okay, in one shot. So you face that particular project into different category of development, okay. You face it according to the sector. Maybe you said, okay, this part, we are going to do our residential first, okay. Once residential phase one has completed, maybe we do phase two. The second one, you're talking about the commercial, maybe, okay, to support the, whatever the residents might want, the shops, ke, grocery, ke, apa ke, uh, cafe, ke, apa ke, uh, you start with the uh, commercials, okay, or, or some, uh, they designed it, uh, uh, they subdivided according to the design, the floor plan. Residential phase one, they have a different design. Residential phase two, different design, etc., etc. So these another uh, facing strategies that uh, normally in practice in the uh, Malaysian uh, uh, real estate development. Okay, because if your land is huge, you are not going to um, do it in one shot. Okay, what will be the advantage and disadvantage here, kawan kawan? Eh? Kalau you tengok, okay, uh, the, the, the disadvantage, of course, you are talking about small scale. Small scale meaning that you have the lower initial investment. You have small scale here, once done, you open up another one, you open up another one. You see, your, your, your investment would be lower, okay, would be lower. Then you are talking about shorter construction time. Okay, uh, this one will be two years, another two years, another two years. So gradually your taman or your new township will be done. But but in a longer period of time, doesn't really matter. But it takes one shorter, uh, uh, one shorter 
uh, period, one shorter period, can all together. And then your design changes according to the face. So this is going to be good in regards of your image, the image of that particular um, uh, township. Okay, some developers, they, they are very smart, very smart in a way that uh, uh, for the first uh, phase is going to be cheaper as they go along, price will start to increase. Okay, so they be able to optimize their profit. They be able to not just optimize that, but create more demand. Okay, create more demand. How? Because when people actually come across their development and they say, whoa, good. Okay, this is good. We love it. We like the concept. We like the green area and stuff like that. So all these people will make an inquiry towards the uh, officers, the developers' officers. So once they make the inquiry, what happened is that they will collect all this data. This is raw data, primary data. They will collect. Okay, like some Dabi, they normally will collect. They give you one piece of paper. They say, what would you like to buy uh, the next time around? What do you like to buy? Okay, are you the first time buyer? What, uh, what kind of price are you looking at? So these are the raw data that they will collect. Okay, so they create more demand. They optimize their profit. Then they can actually um, deliver what the customers want. Okay, that is on the advantages part. Okay, the disadvantages is like the, all these particular facing strategies and whatnot, it become very complex, very complex. Okay, you've got this uh, on the residential, then another one, another one, another one. If thing goes as planned, okay. But what happens when it's overlap? Okay, I need to update like this one is not done yet and you have another one and stuff like that. So it becomes complex, but it's doable. It's doable. It's just a matter of how you manage your time. Okay, it can be done, but it's disadvantage because it's a complex uh, uh, construction. Okay, you have a longer total construction time. So your construction time will be longer. This one will take two years. So the whole of uh, 1000 acreage of, of land will take a few years for you to uh, finish up the, the whole project, the entire project, the whole development. Okay, longer uh, total construction time. Okay, higher total cost, yes, because you are talking in terms of uh, one small uh, uh, development, then another one, another one, another one. But at the end of the day, of course, when you total up, it's going to be higher. However, you'll be able to eliminate some of the risk, some of the risk, isn't it? So it's better for you to do one small, one small, one small, rather than the entire 1,000 acreage of land. Okay, that is going to be very, very risky. Okay, so basically that's what covered today's, the, uh, what, mm, topics, no topics. <sighs> Okay, questions, questions from the floor. I got a question. Yes. So, can a development di macam stop at the certain phase? Macam ada tiga, total tiga phase, tapi dia decide buat sampai dua phase je. Boleh? 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 It, it can be done, it can be done. To, you know, uh, okay, tak apa. After this, you can actually Google, okay? You can actually Google. The name of the development is uh, Punca Alam. Have you heard of it? Punca Alam. Tahu dia tanya, ada projek. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, Punca Alam, Punca Alam, okay? is one of the example whereby when they first launch, when they first launch Punca Alam, they launch a few product at the same time. They launch a few product at the same time. Okay, right away. Not face by face by face. Okay, so at one point in time, they will have like tiga ke empat ke all together at one shot, you know. So what happened is that, what happened is that uh, the first one that they faced is that uh, the quality of the development is not good. The quality of the development is not good. Uh, I think something to do with the soil, if I'm not mistaken. 
So what happened is that they have got to make good. Once they release the key to the customer, then uh, 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 they have got to take back that particular uh, 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 houses, some of the houses yang, yang very badly done. So they have got to redo it. Okay, because when you have few product at the same time, few faces, few project at the same time, okay, one, you, you won't be able to control your quality. Okay, so this is some of the mistakes that they have done. They should do it in a small piece, small piece, small piece. Then only they'll be able to control it. Don't be so, uh, not excited. Is it excited? Not excited. Tapi kalau saya pakai greedy, it's so brutal, isn't it? Not greedy. <laughs> Guan Yu, we have the same mind. Uh, tapi macam macam tak sedap lah kan. For me to use greedy. Guan Yu tak sedap lah. Tak mau greedy. Eager. Eager. Too ambitious. Okay, okay. Maybe too ambitious and eager. Okay. But not greedy lah. Tak baik lah kan. <laughs> ah, they are too eager. They are too ambitious. When they produce, they produce it all. <laughs> so this is what happened to them. This is what happened to them. If you go to Puncha Alam now, you realize that the the uh, the synergy between one project and another. I don't know about now. Hopefully by now is 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 better. But last time all cloud. You know, it's like um, no. Uh, uh, Bukit Jelutong, kawan kawan. Bukit Jelutong. Anybody Bukit Jelutong? Are you familiar with Bukit Jelutong? Yes, I Bukit Jelutong. Ah, uh, if one okay, the rest apa? You can actually Google Earth and see Bukit Jelutong. Okay, Bukit Jelutong. One thing about Bukit Jelutong is the they are good in gathering the information of these the primary data from their potential buyers. So what happened is that the potential buyers. Okay, the potential buyers ask for five bedrooms, five bedrooms and five baths. Five bedrooms and five baths. Okay, so once upon a time, their potential buyers mostly ask for that. Okay, so what happened is that in one of their faces, okay, they actually develop five bedrooms with five baths. Isn't that amazing? And um, it's sold out. It's sold out. Bukit Jelutong is sold out. Okay. With the concept and everything. Okay. They'll be able to sell sold out at a premium. At a premium. Premium? Yes. Premium. Mm. At that particular time, Bukit Jelutong has quite a good uh, marketing strategies and concept. So, their properties are a bit on the high side. Okay, uh, mahal sikit daripada yang lain. Okay, a bit on the high side uh, from yang lain. Tapi, <coughs> apparently it's sold out. Apparently it's sold out. Uh, uh, this one is tempat you lepak. Uh, apa? Bandar utama. Bandar utama, bandar utama, bandar utama. Tahu. Tahu yang lain, tahu tak. Bandar tahu. utama. Oh, okay. Tahu. All right. All right. Uh, tahu. Okay. Ashwin. Yes. Okay. Go for it. Okay. Bandar utama, they actually capitalize on the location. Baru siap chat baru. <laughs> baru apa? Baru capitalize. Uh, they capitalize on the location. Meaning that their strategies is on the location. When they sell, they said we have a very... Uh, uh, good and strategically located, okay, uh, uh, piece of 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 uh, uh, project. Uh, so that is why now, if you go to Bandar Utama, you want to buy a double story terrace house. How much? Double story terrace house in Bandar Utama. How much? Anybody? Any estate agent here or not? <laughs> no, we are full full time student. Uh, AK kata nine hundred k. 
900k up to uh, 1 million eh kawan-kawan eh. Double story terrace house. I repeat. Double story terrace house. Terrace bukan semi D. Bukan. Okey, bukan semi D kan. Double story terrace house. Ha. 900,000 to 1 billion. Um, yeah, saturated through. Uh, of course, of course. Mana ada lagi projek dekat bandar utama? Tak ada lagi projek. Uh, tak ada lagi projek dah. Uh, bandar utama. You see? 900,000 and above. Double story terrace house. <laughs> Best tak? Uh, kan? So, so, so that's about development. How do you go about it? How do you put your, your facing strategies? How do you develop? What is it that you want to capitalize? And stuff like that. Mm, amazing. Amazing. Uh, I'm sure some of you have done on your on your uh, academic project, right? Uh, looking at the uh, looking at this. Um, or maybe one day you will be an estate agent. Anybody interested to be an uh, estate agent? Estate agent. Guan Yu, estate agent. Registered estate agent lah. Uh, anybody? Tak minat estate agent. Uh. Wah, registered estate agent lah. What you mean? What? Minat, yes. Um, my student, my student, uh, a few years back. Is it a few years back? Uh, I cannot remember dah. Okay, dah tua sangat tak, tak, tak ingat. Okay, my student, when he made the jackpot, eh, he made the jackpot, eh, he sell buildings, he sell buildings, 135 million. That is so far the highest that my student have ever made. Uh, bangunan, bangunan, one complex of, of uh, buildings, a complex of buildings. Wow. 135 million, okay, that is the highest. Okay, I have one. Hundred. Huh? Hundred. Thirty-five. million. Oh, tadi terdengar satu per tiga lima. Oh, tapi seratus tiga puluh lima. Yes, million. How much is your commission? One thirty-five. Calculate sikit. How much is your commission? Three million. Sikit. Ah. I have one that sells houses, eh, sell not houses, building, 42 million. Uh, ada juga, my students. Uh, normally, they will report back to me and say to me that, uh, let's go for Tetari because uh, I've sold the property. Uh, for rental, for rental, so far, the highest, I've got one student that uh, uh, rent the whole building for uh, educational purposes. I think I, I, I PTS, I PTS. So the rental of that building per month, okay, for that whole building per month is 400,000, 400K. So how much is the fees when you're doing rental? How much is your fees? When you're doing rental? The rate is uh. the same for rental and the uh. selling. Yes. Huh? Rental tak? Rental would be your month, one month, one month rent. That is your estate agent fees. Kan? 3% also. so. Tak, tak. Uh, one month rental. If you do rental, if you do sales, it's 3%. But if you do rental, it will be a one month, uh, one month uh, rent. So, dia punya fees, 400,000. Fees dia. Because dia... Uh, list the whole building. Mm, 400,000. Man, that is a very lucrative business. Each and every one of you should be a agent. Uh, agent. When when the times is good, it's good. Okay, when the time is good, uh, uh, it's good. So, boleh je, tak ada hal. Alright? Alright. Tak minat. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> tak minat? Minat dua je. Tak minat kerja. Ha? Ah, tak minat kerja. Ayo, yo. Minat duit je. Duit saja. Where, 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 where you want to get the money if you don't work? 
Okay, for tomorrow, I'm going to prepare questions. So by by two o'clock, I will give you the questions. Okay, I will give you the questions for you to do. Okay, then we shall discuss the the the, the answer to that question. Would that be okay? Kalau tak nanti lagi boring dengan saya cakap je kan. Okay. Very okay. 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 Letih eh, petang-petang. So hot lah today and a few days uh, ago. You know, very hot. Oh, Ikwan, masih raya mood ah. Masih raya mood ah. Okay, where's the rest? Where's the rest? Where's the rest? Wah, Syirah, selamat hari raya. Anggunnya, tu dong. Let's rest, let's rest. Chisam, Nazri, Alia, Afiq, Aini, Fazliana, Faikmal, Izzat. Baru jumpa tu dong, Dr. <laughs> tak apa-apa. Tapi punya kamera. Shariza, Adiba. Yes, sir. Ada tak? Ada tak? Ada tak? Ha, ada tak? Ada tak? When you, what you doing? <laughs> Cacat kata, suka kacau orang. Kan? Seronok kacau orang. Eh, Fazina tadi dah hilang dah? Ya, ada rindu saya kata. Ah, kan? Rindu selalu. Waida mana Waida? Oh, uh, pasal macam garang je takutnya. Senyum sikit. Ah. Orang kalau jarang senyum sekali sekali senyum. Manis, lupa dia. Ini siapa ni? Kejap, kejap. Apa ni? <laughs> Guan Yu. <laughs> apa? Alright, mana yang lain? Ah, tak mau. Tak mau. You change your, your ni. Izzat, where are you? Adiba, ini BIE ni siapa ni? Student ni, tak ada nama. Afiq, 